I find it fascinating how there are so many people out there who will care more about the way that something appears than how it works. Someone, in, let's say in, in a discussion, you'll care more about how something is worded than the actual concept being talked about. Um, if it's with a car, you know, your car could run like shit, but the thing that you'll choose to get worked on on the car first, because somehow that matters more, I don't understand that, is, oh, I'm going to get new wheels. I don't need new tires. No, new, new wheels. I mean, if you need new tires, it's understandable. You, you should get new tires. If you need new tires, get new tires. But no, no, I need, I want new wheels. And they might even get another paint job on the car when it runs like shit. Um, reminds me of some of those those ghetto cars, those ugly 80s Oldsmobile Cutlass Sierras that they'll jack up, put these huge wheels on, get these expensive paint jobs put on them, and they put out black smoke, right? <laughs> Just it's like, going down the street, you know, it's like, wow. Yeah, great. Yeah, congratulations for spending all that money and effort on your vehicle, and it runs like like that, right? <laughs> There's just so many things that, that that kind of mindset can apply to. Now, I understand that someone, you know, if they don't know how something works, they want to try to make up for it somewhere else, and that that's that's fine. You know, at least you're trying, right? But... It, what reminded me of that are these tapes right here. Okay. These tapes are more stuff that I got from uh, the bins at Goodwill. And I... It's like, okay. Uh, uh, some sort of orange Glade plugins. They have cats. Because there's a tiny, tiny hint of the cat piss smell way, way in the background. And they've got Carpet Fresh and they've got these candles that are usually um, kind of a dark mauve color. Anyway, um, that's not why I made the video. Yes, I can I can smell something and tell you what products are being used in a house. But anyway, um, no these. People spent all this time to make these labels, but these recordings are unusable. Their equipment was so in need of cleaning that the, the analog audio heads couldn't barely make a recording. These recordings, without exaggeration, this is what a conversation sounds like. <laughs> I'm like, wow. You know, did an extra cleaning on the on the heads, did all the adjustments possible, went from top to bottom on the, on that adjustment. Nothing. Nothing. The audio is <laughs> And then let me see if you can see that on this tape. Well, it's not as bad at that section of it. Let me look at this one. Okay, well, it's not too bad on that. On some tapes, when you you flip the lid open, and there's this. Well, you can yeah, you can see that. It's it's right there. You can see on on the on this bottom side. You can see that there's this. Uh, it's like it looks like the tape got stretched on the bottom. And so you have this kind of a, a ruffly thing on the tape. And when tapes start getting that, you know that the, the VCR that's been playing it is way out of whack. It's not just dirty, it's out of whack. It's out of adjustment. It's screwed. <laughs> but you know, hey, at least they made the labels, right? At least the car has new wheels, right? <laughs> it's just weird. It's weird to me. Um, 
Another thing that's weird to me is why wouldn't someone want to know how things work? Now, I'm not I'm not trying to judge people on this. I'm just wondering why wouldn't someone want to know how things work? It, it, for me, I feel helpless when I don't know how, you know, when I'm working with something and I have absolutely no idea how it works, I feel helpless working with it until I actually understand it. And I don't want that helpless feeling. I want to know how this shit works, so let's figure out how this shit works. That's the way my brain works. But then again, there's so many things that other people can do without any issue that I struggle with. So, you know, trade off. They probably have a better life than I do. And have probably always had a better life than I do in one way or another. So, you know, due to the mindset that they have, and mine is due to the mindset that I have. So it's, it's not really a judgment in that way. It's just, I just have to look and go, how could someone not want to know how things work? That's, that's just, it's always been a weird thing to me. Especially when it's something that someone uses all the time. If you use it all the time, to me, you should really want to know how that thing works. But some people don't. And that's fine. Maybe, you know, maybe knowing how it works make would make it less enticing to use. You know, that's how it is for some people, by, at least I imagine. Out of discussions I've heard people have, it seems that way. But, I don't know. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I imagine that the people that made these tapes probably have had some sort of categorization system. They probably had some some file somewhere on an old computer program that uh, you know has. They have a database that they and they can search and easily find any tape they're looking for. Well, they they spend all this effort and time and then and then the recordings themselves are unusable. <laughs> it's 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 weird. It's weird, Scooby. 